What's up guys, it's your favorite QB coach. Welcome back to another reaction video. In this video, we're gonna be reacting to Eric Cargono Golf. A lot of you guys requested this. So without further ado, let's go do this thing. So welcome back to the channel, guys. You guys are new to QB Golf Japan. We do a bunch of videos like this every single week. So what you gotta go do is hit that little red subscribe button, smash the like button, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Eric Cargono Golf. And as always, hit that little bell notification. You guys are getting notified every single time we drop a video. So quick background of Eric Rogano Golf. So he, I believe he has an in-person like academy. I don't know what state in America, but he has an in-person academy. And then he also has like an online membership program as well as he sells online courses. So he's one of those more of a modern golf instructors in America, which I really do like that business model. And I think me and my golf in UK or the United Kingdom were the first people to really kind of scale that type of model and actually make it very, very successful. Obviously, George is probably one that you guys know, George Gankis Golf. He has done something very, very similar. So that's pretty much the background of Eric Rogono Golf. In this particular video, this is one of his most popular uploads. It's about the single trick that will fix your backswing. They're talking about really players who have flat backswings tend to want to steep in the club shaft. And then pretty much from there, he's going to give you some tips on how to fix it. Now, my point of making this video is I'm going to be reacting to it in a sense of talking about the language that he's using throughout this video. And then in the second part of this video, we're going to actually talk about and debunk maybe some of the ways that he's talking about that could fix the flat, uh, flat club shaft pitch. Are they good or are they bad? We're going to break that down as well. So let's go hop into the first part where we're going to debunk, or not debunk, sorry, we're going to talk about some of his wording that he uses throughout this video. Or even if your takeaway is fine, it'll start to get too flat from there. All of those backswing issues, right, the backswing getting too flat, that's a problem because you'll always get the opposite reaction in transition and downswing. Okay, so this is again one of the main points when we're talking about the way he words his uh, YouTube videos is he says almost, or sorry, not almost, he says always if you have a flat club shaft, it's going to have an opposite reaction in transition, which means the club shaft is going to steepen. Now, whenever you use always, that means you're using an absolute. And most of the time when you use an absolute, it's not going to be correct. And in this example, it's not correct because I've seen players who have been too flat on the backswing who have actually gotten flatter on the downswing, as well as I've seen people who are too steep or vertical club shaft on the backswing who gets even more steep in transition. So an absolute here is actually not correct, right? It's false in this particular example. Then he also goes on a little, like literally five seconds later in this video to talk about how it's almost always as opposed to always right so he contradicts himself and he doesn't take the time to edit it out of his videos so it shows me a little bit of laziness on his part for the youtube videos which i'm not a big fan of but that's kind of the first point of this video i want you to be careful whenever you're watching other youtube golf instructors really be careful of what you're listening to because a lot of the times um, when you're making youtube videos you can make mistakes and sometimes even big channels like him who has like 125,000 subscribers doesn't take the time to edit those parts out and to redo them. They just leave them up there for the audience to watch. So it could be confusing. So if you come up on a situation like that, you should probably leave a comment below and ask him or ask him personally or just maybe not listen to the advice because it could be wrong or it could be right. You really don't know what he's saying because he didn't take the time to edit the video. But anyways, that's the first point. Let's go hop into the second point of this reaction video where he's talking about the actual ways to fix a flat club shaft pitch because I don't agree with a lot of what he's saying in that actual part right there. More form rotation or thumb inside would make it go more flat and that's part of it. But the trick of this and the one thing not a lot of people talk about is the upper arm rotation or shoulder rotation. Okay, so like you just heard right there, he's saying that the trick or the real secret to keeping the club shaft more in a vertical place than a flat place on the backswing is going to be the shoulder rotation and the elbow rotation. This is really crucial, right? So he's saying that this is more important than forearm rotation, right? He's specifically saying this. So let's kind of go a little bit further, see what he says. And then I'm actually going to debunk what he says with this. And it's actually uh, going to be quite funny. My elbow can point anywhere from probably at the target, right, would be internally rotated this way, at the target. It can point about 45 degrees behind me, or I probably can rotate my upper arm all the way to the point where my elbow points kind of more at my left hip. Now, what you want to do is have your arm more under, like this with your left arm, more tucked under. Okay, that's externally rotated. That's your elbow more in towards you. Now, why would you... 
Okay, so first off, this is gonna be difficult for some people who don't have mobility. So what Eric is kind of maybe not speaking about is mobility of players. Some people can't rotate their forearms quite a bit. So if you taught a lot of clients, you would know this, that some people are really just not mobile and they can hardly move their forearms. So for a player like that, if you get their elbow to tuck under like this, they can't really grip the club because they can't go this far. They can't rotate this much like Eric can because he's very flexible and mobile. So there's a lot of people that can't even do what he's talking about first, but that's not even my main argument to this. There's another main argument I want to go over, but just realize just even in the very beginning of his explanation, he's already not leaving. He's leaving out a lot of really viable information for a lot of people. He, he's leaving out people in just not, I don't like it basically is what I'm trying to say. Let's continue. You want to do that. When I have that more in, okay, I have my elbow more in. I'm going to keep my elbow pointed at my hip, but I'm going to turn my arm from here to here to take my grip. You see the difference between that there? Now, if I keep my elbow pointed at me as I do my takeaway motion and then down towards the ground as I go back, that's the secret to getting my backswing on plane or vertical. Okay, so you just heard it out of his mouth. He said, if you keep this elbow pointed down towards the ground on the takeaway section and pretty much up to P3, you are automatically, and that is the secret, he says, to keep the club shaft pitch vertical. Now watch this, guys. Let me, let me show you a quick little example here. I'm going to do that, but watch this. What if I did this? Did I not just flatten the club shaft pitch? But isn't my elbow still pointed down towards the ground right here? Like, look at this. Here, still pointed down. But wouldn't the pitch of the shaft be flat there? There you go. That's that's how you can debunk exactly what he just said. So what do I really think about this? Well, personally, in my opinion, I think that Eric Rigono is trying to differentiate himself from other YouTube golf instructors on this topic. So he's trying to put emphasis on the elbow and the shoulder rotation as being the secret. But really, honestly, the secret is going to be in the forearm rotation. Forearm rotation is going to be the strongest correlation between the pitch of the shaft. Yes, if I can rotate my elbow like he said and move the shoulder a little bit more like he says, will it be a little bit easier? Absolutely. But again, I can still do what he says, but move my forearms like that, and I've just flattened the pitch of the shaft. So watching this, I would say that the way that he's trying to fix that issue of a flat club shaft pitch is actually absolutely wrong, and we just kind of debunked it there, so hopefully you guys get it. So if you guys want to know my thoughts about Eric Rigono Golf, I've only watched this video of him, so I don't know. Based off what I've seen off this video, it's gotten a lot of views, but there's a lot of big flaws with it. But typically, again, on YouTube, you can get random videos that you just barely put time into that just blow up for some random reason. Then you can also get videos that you do a great job on, you take a lot of time, and then they don't go and blow up as well. So I don't know. I'd have to watch more videos of Eric Ogono to really pass judgment. Based off this video, though, I highly don't agree with him, and it also kind of seems like he's trying to... I don't like how he's trying to word this, basically. He's trying to differentiate himself by kind of diluting the information to the point to where I feel like it's wrong, right? So that's just my personal opinion, but leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think about Eric Gagano Golf. And as always, if you guys want to check out an actual live lesson of mine with a client where we change their golf swings really drastically, make sure to go check out our Kiwi Coach live lesson webinar product below you'll receive two full two-hour live lessons. That, that's right. That's four hours of instruction where we're teaching a client. You can see the full lesson step-by-step, step, and you can actually see how we change that client's golf swing. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that link down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. See you guys soon.